happens. Sure, sure. All right, let's go straight to our final story. According to a popular saying by Yoruba people of southwest Nigeria, great men accomplish great deeds. In a show of this, a renowned industrialist, philanthropist, and founder of Boa Group, one of Africa's leading conglomerates, Abdul Samad Isia Kurabi, has extended a generous donation of two billion naira to aid victims and support recovery efforts in Meduguri, Burundi State Capital, over the recent flood disaster. Now, this donation is in response to President Bola Tinubu's call to the private sector to offer support to the flood victims and aid recovery and rebuilding efforts in the affected areas. What a time to relish a beautiful quote from Leo Tolstoy, which says that the sole meaning of life is to serve humanity. Uh, Tony, let me come to you here. Abdul Samad is showing high level of philanthropy here. Don't you agree? Uh, every time I tell me to shell out two billion or this. Two billion? Uh, this, uh, <laughs> that's huge. That's humongous. You know, I, I commend them for it, um, for mm -hmm. showing, you know, um, love to the people of uh, Bono State at this time. Um, it's not easy. And uh, I want to use the opportunity to, to commend others. Because so far, I think they've been able to do about 12 billion plus now, mm. rising, mm. you know, to, to burning people, to, to alleviate their, 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 what they encountered during the flood. Yes. And, and I hope, you know, I pray <coughs> that the state government will judiciously appropriate this fund. No, they've actually set up a committee. Yes, they've set up a committee so because a if someone can just shell out, you know, but you know what 2 billion is? It is money. You know, he's expecting his eyes be there to make sure that the, after donating that money, what it's going to do next is to sit down and watch that money being spent judiciously Judicious, and make sure there are no mistakes. That's what. So they can get to these people. They can go back to their homes, mm. go back to school, so where a lot of things lives, happen. Basically. Go back to their normal lives mm. because a lot of things happen within that period. Mm. It has never happened born of all places, you know. It so it, it, it's, <coughs> devastating. it's devastating. And I commend all of them. And I commend most especially Elijah Ahmad for yeah. that. One billion naira and also one billion naira in relief materials. In, in, in so relief materials, your, yeah. your thoughts on that. And uh, then the next one I'm going to ask you, apart from cash donations, mm. relief materials, yes. what other thing do you think um, the Borinu people, the affected people in Mbeiduguri Borinu, what other thing do you think is needed, apart from money and cash and relief materials? I think uh, first and foremost, the rehabilitation of that dam has to happen. Mm -hmm. Has to happen. Oh, yeah. yes. okay. Because the rehabilitation was in the plan. Okay. But a lot of pussy footing happened. Mm. And um, they didn't do it on time. They didn't do it on time. By the time um, the, the rains were unrelenting. Okay. And um, it led to one of the channels, mm. you know. Um, overflowing and the the whole city was um, literally submerged. submerged so they need to do that because if they don't do that quickly this problem will happen again yeah, yeah. because what caused it has to first be addressed mm -hmm. uh, that is the best they can do for the people there are houses that they will need to rebuild sure. because they've been compromised mm -hmm. the integrity of integrity, those exactly. buildings have been compromised you imagine flood that rose to the linte level for many buildings, yeah. so those to save lives, mm -hmm. they need to uh, re reconstruct many houses. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have to give credit to Danjuma Foundation as well. They donated okay. uh, one billion. It was Gloria, this, the daughter of the T.Y. Danjuma, that made that donation. Wow. Then Zenith Bank, uh, three hundred million. Wow. Aminu Abdullah Irano, Irano, the popular uh, oil magnate. Mm -hmm donated uh, 50 million and they also committed to free air services to guests. Then um, uh, they are going to deliver food and non Sheyi Tinumbu mm -hmm. and his friends. Yeah, we yeah, Donated 1,000 1, cartons of spaghetti, 1,000 uh, cartons of tomato paste, granite oil, 200 bags of maize, 500 bags of 25 kg rice, wow. 10,000 loaves of bread. 200 cartons of maggi, 1,000 bags of salt, 100 cartons of sugar, 
5,000 mosquito nets, 4,000 blankets for warmth, 4,000 wrappers, 10,000 mats, 35,000 packs of antihypertensive drugs, 26,000 packs of anti malaria drugs. That's huge. So he mobilized his friends. Really huge. They didn't just donate money, he brought doctors to town. I saw somebody um, ridiculing him that, oh, he was received uh, by uh, uh, Shehu Obono. Mm. He has turned himself to, uh, to a government official. I then said, you are an ignorant fellow. Very, very ignorant. Anybody who wants to assist Bono at this time, the governor will be available to receive exactly. him. Exactly. That's what after. He doesn't have to be somebody in government. You see how... Uh, uh, people, ignorant people who are populated social media think. <laughs> if, if you want to, there are some uh, companies that are also coming. Sure. Because people have responded well to the president's yeah, did, de yeah. uh, uh, demand that Nigerians should rise up and help the state. Mm. If they are coming, if they want to see the show, the show of Bono will receive them. Sure. A pal his palace was submerged. Exactly. The governor will receive them. But the governor is waiting them? to receive them. Not when they receive them. Maybe. So what is the thing? It's not, it's not just because he is the president's mm -hmm. son. But look at the empathy that he has shown. I mean, these are... These How are come it is difficult for people to even appreciate this thing? beyond the person. I mean, you don't have to extend the hatred that you have for his father to the son. Exactly. Look at what he has done. Look at the empathy. Good people show empathy in times of, uh, of poor need. people's uh, oh. need. Yes. You are not looking at the empathy, but you are angry because Shea Wobono received him. Just Come on. Just a toxic. Oh, oh, so what is the thing? You are not, look at all of what he has done. <laughs> and he has shown an example that we cannot leave our own to suffer. Today is Bono. It could be another state it could be, tomorrow. Yes. Hmm. We are suffering from uh, uh, climate change related uh, issues because even the rainfall pattern was irregular and unpredictable. Mm, okay. All right, thank you very so much. So let's appeal to Nigerians Thanks. to continue to assist this state, and our friend, uh, uh, Governor Zulu, will be happy to receive sure. help. And it's not everything that is translated to money. Exactly. Yes. Some of them are pledges. Yeah. He has not received yeah. the money. So when people say, ah, uh, so uh, it's not... Uh, it's already counting. It's money. already. <laughs> it's, some of them are pledges. He has not physically taken <laughs> delivery taking the delivery of the money. Mm. So those who major in simply calculating negativity, <laughs> let's talk to them. Sure. You know, let's talk to them. If you are not prepared to assist people in need... Still. Don't abuse mm -hmm. those who are we'll helping the needy. Mm. So keep that those toxic comments. Yeah. To yes, keep them to not, yourself. If you're not ready to assist. You are not ready to assist. Some of us, through the little contributions that people are making, we have helped. Mm -hmm. Sure. Anyway, thank you very much, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Thank, thank, you, thank you, you very much so for having this conversation. Thank you so much, Bringer. VK, the thank you. Thank, thank, thank you very you. much for having Appreciate this conversation. You. And uh, that's it on Journalist Hangout today. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program. You can watch the repeat broadcast of this episode tonight at 11 and join us on Sunday from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. for the Journalist Hangout on Sunday. We are on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. I am Binga Oreshegun. Bye for now and God bless Nigeria.